That's going to go in the oven. <laughs> Stop that in there. Whatever you put in there, this has got to be as big as the part you put in to anodize or bigger, or it's not going to work right. Now leave this little pigtail out. This, because you're going to have electricity going through this, DC current. So you want this in there, get this set. I bought this at Michael's, 59 cents for a big so it doesn't So it doesn't make contact. It doesn't hit the metal. Unless some of you guys crochet, you may have some of this already at home. <laughs> Dan, you crochet on it. I get. And then I just use distilled water. Don't want to use tap water because that ain't good for anything. Put that in there. And then the magic stuff that does it. Another simple thing you get at Home Depot, Ace Hardware, trisodium phosphate. So you're going to paint your house, this is what you wash your walls with before you paint it, or you should. I don't measure this out. Now, I'm not, you know, and I've seen people on YouTube, whatever, there's people that buy etching liquid for titanium before they do this. And I watched it, and they put it on the oven, you got to get it to 170 degrees, it's real caustic. And I'm like, man, I mean, maybe if you're doing uh, jewelry or medical equipment, you have to do that, but for titanium liners for a folder, but this is the simplest way and it works. I just dump like a third of a cup. What is that? Trisodium phosphate. Okay. Where do you find that? Ace Hardware, Home Depot. Home Depot. In the, in the it's still a part of 50 pound bag for the person. Hi, It's very simple. I use my metal stir here, just stir it up. I mean, this is, we have to have a big screwdriver to turn it. <laughs> this is all I had on the way out the door. I forgot to stir it. So I grabbed this right quick. Hey, hey! He's a piece of ivory. Yeah, here, use this. And the stuff, it, it, it don't do anything. Unless you get in your eyes, it's not going to hurt you. He's going to anodize. We used to use that. And the next thing, this here is a Variac. Now, I don't know what these things are made for primarily. I know people use them in TV shops back in the 70s and 60s to work. You should run my train on one of those. My exactly. Train. Yeah, it's a train. It's a very it's out, just a transport. It puts out from 0 to 120 volts AC current. So, what I got here, I'm going to run this here off of a uh, voltage inverter. We had to improvise electricity out here. So he's using a battery to an inverter to back to AC. Uh, so right now, and then it got inverted back to DC. And inverted yeah. back to DC. So they go DC to AC to DC. Yeah. <laughs> it's a lot of AC dictions. So this is another homemade gadget. This here is a DC rectifier. You get a radio shack. It's like under $5. Or you could buy them on eBay. There's a slew of them on eBay. It's got a number right on there, 5322, DC rectifier, 499, ship your door free. It's got four terminals, 110 in, 12 volt DC out. I just plug this in there, put that on zero. So now you got 110 volts going to this rectifier. Hook the negative to this, and then... Standing water first. Got a kick out of that. We got some titanium here. Some things. scraps on there you go. You had to make scrap on purpose? <laughs> big enough big enough to anodize I did, yeah. <laughs> no, probably the biggest thing with anodized titanium I believe is it's gotta be clean. If you got oil on it from your fingers, it's gonna show. Another thing I do with all my liners, all of them, whether I anodize them or not, is I jewel them with uh, Kratex rods. I don't know if you all know what Kratex rods are. They look it's like an eraser. They look like pencil erasers, yeah. but they're like that long. They're about ten bucks a piece. Yeah, they hard. come in like three different grits. You know, I buy them at Brownells. I use the medium grit. Chuck. I just cut off a piece about a half inch long. Chuck it in the drill press. And you just bring it down in overlapping circles, all across the whole liner. In and the old done, days, in the old days of knife minutes, we called it machining. Yeah. yeah. If you see the higher end bolt action rifles, all the bolts, most of them are jeweled. Yeah. They got that circular swirl. Right. That's all it is. That's, that's what they call jeweling. Yeah. It's just that little buff Jewel. mark. And uh, little they, round buff marks. When you anodize <laughs> titanium, I mean, that really stands out when you when you do that to it. 
Just take some acetone and clean these little pieces up. Because I was just going on here doing this. This goes from one color to the next. And if you want that one color and you've gone higher on your voltage and it starts shading out to the next color, you're screwed. There's no going back. Like I usually do purple or gold. And I go to purple and I'm looking, boy, that's a nice looking purple. A little bit more, a little bit more, and all of a sudden it starts fading. It's going to gold. And there ain't no going back to purple at that point. The only thing you can do is buff it off or use a scotch bright wheel and bring it right back to bare titanium again and redo it. That's the only bad part I find of doing this is you really got to be careful. If you're going from one color, if you go too far, there's no going back on it. So, the other thing when you dunk it in a tank, if you're anodizing titanium, you got to use titanium connected to the positive side. You can't use stainless steel or any of that. It ain't going to work. You can't use aluminum. This is another piece of scrap titanium I had laying around. So I just hook them on there. So these would be like the pivot holes in a liner. Just hang it by the pivot holes. Stick them in there. Turn them up. Right about 24 volts AC you start getting <laughs> blown. Stop it! Oh, wow! Oh, God. Look at that. Just that fast. Just that cool. fast, man. I mean, no torch. That no is so cool. Off. That Show is up. cool. Now, if you stay it in there, you can leave it in too long. You, and it keeps no, going you can just keep it in there. But nothing's going to change. It's all the voltage. voltage. It's all the voltage. Yeah. It's all about the voltage. It's, it's all going to stay the same. So certain voltages. Certain lead voltage to certain will colors. give it certain colors. Okay. It's kind of experimental. I got some numbers written here and all, but it seems oh. like uh, it seems like it may be the concentration of the TSP or or what. I don't know, but that's why you really got to watch what oh. you're doing. No, no, there's like a lot of So actually, the higher the voltage, the lighter the color. No, it, it changes back. Oh, no, it's now it's like now I want to go to gold. <laughs> now it's starting to turn it's green. Gold. Greenish it's color. Greenish. Yeah, it's starting. You know, most men aren't colorblind, by the way. Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> See, now it's starting to go to gold. Yeah. No, when you pick out your clothes, too. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you go with gray. You don't have to worry about it. Um, I use fair clay if I'm etching and I'm blue and I'm blue. 30 of these. So I go to gold a lot. I usually I either go purple or gold. And that's all I really ever do. Like, so when I get gold, I'm like, that looks pretty good. Let me see if I can get it brighter. Overshoot it. Let's start going brighter. Now you get brighter. Goldish color, don't you? And if you got the jeweling on there, that's especially where you see when you go too far, you start seeing those swirls. You start seeing it's, you're getting shades of like a blue or something in there. In the swirls? Yeah. And that's when you've gone too far. Now it's a little bit brighter of gold there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you have to stop the annexation by soaking it in water or is it done? I just, yeah, I rinse it off. Why just rinse it off and wrap it off with tap water. Now these had a rough finish on it, this is scotch bright wheel. These have gone a little past gold. See where it turn, start to turn purple? Yep, right around the end. There. See, I got a mark here, gold is at like 70. I had that thing almost up to 80 there. 80 volts AC. Then it's because you're on the, the battery instead of juice. Well, that could be too. It's not a, it's not a it's good, not a consistent, uh, not consistent. Not yeah, consistent consistent power, power source. Can we pass that around so, yeah. so we can see that? I'm yeah, sure. you can see that where it's starting to turn purple there at the top. And once in a while, these things here, from being anodized, once in a while, I'll put down my scotch bread, we'll knock that stuff off, get down clean, so you get better electrical contact. Yeah. Yeah, that, and these inverters, look, there's pink in there. They're rare as hen's teeth, really, because no, I don't know what they're they don't used make for. them anymore. They, they make them. They still make them. Set. Yeah. yeah, they still make them. I couldn't, find them. I couldn't find any on eBay. You didn't? They're on eBay. 
He's got to look at the right hand up buying something from specialized, specialized circuitry. No, there's a bunch of them on eBay. If anybody's got an old Lionel train set, it's the same thing in that transformer you got. But, you know, buying on eBay, you really, when you're buying a youth, that's what's most of on there. That's nice. That's a good color. Exactly. So you get this lighter blue first, then it goes to gold, and then it'll go to the dark blues after that. No, it'll, it'll go to yeah. purple. Purple. Yeah, purple. Yeah, purple. Yeah, purple. Yeah, purple. Yeah, purple. Yeah, that's really pretty. Wow, that's awesome. There's all this purple. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. Copper? It makes a real difference the way it looks when, when you got the jeweling on there. I mean, it just really stands Well, there'll be all sorts of refractoring yeah. edges on yeah. there. That it really stands out. Yeah. Like looking at a reflector on a bicycle or something. Yeah. You don't necessarily have to do them on a folder. You know, I've I'm done liners on a straight line you know, before you put the hand material on. There's a real thin liner on there, color it up. Yeah. Put your hand material on there. Steve Miller, right there is at 80 volts. That's oh, a, it's that's starting a, to get a little. That's a bright yeah, gold there. Bright gold, but I can see. Yeah, we'll go. To no. Well, it's oh, I see it burning. Right out of Something's smoking. It's I saw it like smoking. A, it's yeah. kind of like a pinkish color. It is pink. See, where'd she go? Yeah, he, he just got to a pink. Oh, smoky. Oh, did he? Yeah. That's just the, uh, just the sodium phosphate burn. Now it's starting to get like a. That's kind of like a turquoise color. Oh, yeah, there. that's interesting. That's as high as it is. Oh, yeah. Buzzing. That's 120 volts. Yeah. Oh, it's pretty red. The whole color. I don't know what that Sorry. is. Yeah. Crap scares me. That's an interesting color, though. So does the four. It's so a dream electric. Yeah, it's yeah. interesting, yeah. but yeah. it's not as vivid. Oh, I as, love the know. blue. Yeah. yeah, the blue looks. Yeah, that's the color I usually go for. Is the blue. Yeah, I can yeah. see that. He's the blues, the purples, you know, yeah. Yeah. or gold is all. That's all I ever do. Blue, purple, or gold. Yeah. See now, when you're heat coloring, you'll hit gold first. And then hotter and hotter and hotter, it'll go into the blue. Now, blue. with your heat color, no, do you chance to warp in the liner by doing that? I, no, I have not had any problem with that at all. It actually, it really, I mean, it's, it's basically still anodizing the surface. It's just doing it through an oxidation, you know, air oxidation and heat. You're just accelerating the oxidation of the heat. And when I get the color I want, I just hit the water up there. Because there's no carbon, there's nothing like that in there, so it doesn't affect the competition, composition of the titanium. It stays just as springy and everything as that normally would. Now, actually, it can harden it a little bit. But you got to take it up into bright cherry red, and then quench it, and then the titanium will harden up a few times. That stuff's hard enough to drill through now as it is, man. You don't get any harder than it is. The only rule I have with titanium is do it slow.